Hello there, everyone. Quick video this week. I have quite a few projects that need my attention, but I wanted to bring to your attention something really cool that just happened. As you know, I've made these prototypes that I have shared with all of you, both on my website and on Piano Book. You can go grab those, but they were for Contact. And if you don't know, Contact is expensive, although it's $200 right now on sale, and it's worth it if you're into this at all and you have any aspirations because there's so many great manufacturers that make instruments for contact so anyways go get that if you have the money but if you don't have the money and you want to start making music now decent sampler is a great plug-in made by my friend Dave Hillowitz and now all of my prototypes are available for decent sampler because of the kind work of Kyle Bradshaw and Fred Poirier they're all ported over into decent sampler and you can go download them now and get started and if you don't have money for a DAW or a what we call a digital audio workstation you can download Reaper and use the trial version for free. Tons of resources. I love Reaper. I've been using it a lot lately for sampling and mastering and, and a lot of those chores where it excels at because of scripting and I'm going on and on about things I should just not talk about right now. Some of the sounds act a little different. They sound the same, but they the controls might be a little different. So perhaps they will inspire you in a different way. But the Kawhi Felt piano, the original piano that became the Meyer Felt, which you can buy from me if you'd like, but that uses contact. Let me pause here for a second and I'll take you on a tour of my favorite sounds. And here we go, Antiquarian Echo. Let's just drag where it says preset in. The tone is the mod wheel, which most keyboards have. You can get some cool sounds there. And I also added some reverb. And you can control attack and release. You can slow it way down or make it super fast, which it's not super fast. Or quick release. Let's skip down to the vibes. Still love the percussion element there on those soft mallets on the vibes. Hard is nice as well. some cool pad sounds with the attack and release. Got to be careful with those handbells because they will bite your head off. All right, then the Ka Kawhi Felt Piano, which is one of the first that I made. If you like that sound and you decide to get contact and consider buying my piano, the Meyer Felt, which is a much more involved version of this particular piano. Multiple mic positions, more effects, that kind of stuff. Soft drums have been a fan favorite. So in the contact version, some things happen that make this stop when you hit another hi-hat because that wouldn't normally happen. And perhaps David Hillowitz can look at that and work on that. I'm not sure if that feature is available. So that makes it a little more challenging for certain things, but the sounds are there and they're great. Or at least I like to think so. Steinway Grand. What's nice about this piano is that I recorded it somewhat dark with ribbon mics, so it doesn't have that normal Steinway brightness. It doesn't have a ton of velocity layers, or it's not, it is what it is, but I think it's a pretty neat thing and usable. And we'll finish off with the wind chimes. And these are stretched way down, which is not realistic, but who needs realism? I sampled these in my studio, but then I also went to my friend's house, who I got these from, and we sampled the environment. That may not be of much use to you. Not so pure pad. This is recorded outside. Got 
and then delays and reverbs and such to make it sound fun. And then this hold a chord is creepy. So Halloween's coming up. If you need some kind of creepy, weird sound, that might be what you need. And then the pad is nice. And my favorite of all, the most important sound to me, the Meyer Choir, which is my family. This is just the wet version. There's the dry version. And you can go in each individual member of the family, dry and wet. This is probably all you need. So go download them from my website or from Piano Book. They'll be up there, at least most of them. Use them in your tracks. Share them with me if you do. And I'll be back next week with something else for you. See you.